to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, we're going to be doing a Guman unboxing. This is a collab between the brand Madology and the artist Leo Yuan. I will put their Instagram down below. I absolutely love their work and I do recommend you check them out on Instagram. It's awesome. So we have two different series for today's video. We have this giant box here, which is Fairy Garden. This is the newest series from Guman. There is a third series that is coming out or is already available for pre-order on some websites. I believe it's a re-release of the first series of Guman that ever came out, which I don't have. So I'm really excited to pick it up. I definitely think I'll be getting a full case of that. And then we have the second series, which is Dreaming Sea. So I've already unboxed this on my channel a bunch and I almost have a full set. So I hope I don't get any repeats in this video. I made two orders for it. One order I did four boxes and the second order I did four more boxes. So there isn't many there that we don't already have. So let's have a look at the boxes. So we will start with Dreaming Sea. So this is the beautiful box. I absolutely love the artwork on the front. It is so special. And these are all of the characters you can get. So we have six basic figures and then there's two different colorways. So this is actually like a color variation of that one, and it is slightly different from that one. And then we have the color variation of this. So these two are basically just color variants, and then we have the special edition. So in total, there's nine characters to get. And as I mentioned, I've purchased eight boxes, so I almost have a full series for this one. I'm actually only missing the lighthouse here, the color variant for this figure and the shell one here is the third one that I'm missing and then of course the special edition. So with these two boxes I won't be able to get a full series but I might be able to get more of the regular series. So in this video I hope we get closer to having a complete series of these. I'm so sad I didn't pick up a full box of this but <laughs> I at least have two more boxes. So hopefully we don't get any repeats here. That's my biggest hope. And I've never opened up the fairy garden box before. So this is completely new to me. So it doesn't matter who we get. And I do have more fairy garden boxes. So I will be unboxing that in a different video. But we do have more chances to get the special edition. <laughs> As you can see here for the fairy garden one, we do have the names in English. So we have Blueberry Spring, then we have Cotton Jam, Castle White, Meteor Nest, and then we have, oh, I don't even know what this is. So I'm having a bit of difficulty with this name. I'm not quite sure how to say it. I think it's Padmarja Cage. I've never heard of that before. Let me know down below. I'll probably try Googling that afterwards because I've never seen that word before. So I'm curious. There's mushrooms in here. But there's also a cage up here, so I'm wondering if it's like a type of bird. Interesting. And then we have Mushroom Cottage, which I absolutely love this one. I really hope we get it. And then there is a special Royal Blue Cage, and then the special Illusionist Cottage. <laughs> so you'll notice that these are the two color variants for these figures. So there's basically only six figurines, two special editions, and then we have the hidden edition. So the secret is a swing. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see. The secret is absolutely beautiful. I want it so badly. I don't think we got it, but I really love it. And then there is the super secret and this is the frozen swing and it's clear. I'll put it up on the screen as well. But this is the color variation of the super secret. And, oh, I for actually forgot to mention, for the Dreaming Sea, they don't have it on here, so you can only see the secret, but there is a super secret, which is a color variation of the secret as well. I'll put those both up on the screen so you can see. They're really beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Guman figures are just so, like, mystical and fantastical and so unique. They're just really fun. So these are all the possibilities you can get. And the rest of the box is so, so beautiful. I absolutely love the horse here. And we have my favorite one on the cover, which is amazing. And the top is just saying the name, but. 
Just such a nice box. I really love the details on this box. And which ones out of these figures would you be interested in getting? Let me know down below. And if you've opened up the Fairy Garden series, let me know what you have in your collection. I would love to know. For me, I definitely want the special Illusionist Cottage. That colorway is so beautiful and so unique. I love the purple and the pink. And of course, I want the Mushroom Cottage. It's cool as well. Both of these would be fun. I do kind of like Blueberry Spring. I think Blueberry Spring is pretty funny. And the Castle White. These ones are a lot more earth tone, which is not something I usually go for. So I think these are probably the ones I least want. And the cage ones also have really good colors to them. So I wouldn't mind getting them either. <laughs> but I just really want this swing. And I know we're probably not going to get it because these boxes feel really light. And I have a feeling that swing is probably the heaviest. So I think to start off the Gumon video, I'm going to go for Dreaming Sea just because it's the one that I've already opened before. And these ones, yeah, these ones have the pull tab at the bottom. I don't know if I like that, but <laughs> it also means you can preserve the one, you can preserve the box at the top. So it's not too bad. All right. And these ones aren't in any bag. So as soon as I open this up, you will see who we got. So let's pull it out. Oh, we got the castle one. Or sorry, <laughs> not the castle one, the lighthouse one. This is the one I really wanted. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so beautiful. And this is definitely not my usual color scheme, but this is such a good lighthouse color. And I actually collect a lot of nautical things and I love everything nautical. So of course I want the lighthouse one. The lighthouse one is just so in theme with nautical. And these kind of look like, I don't even know. They kind of look like steam pipes. Very like <laughs> industrial kind of looking. But they're also organic and look like coral all at the same time. They're definitely very interesting. And the colors go so well together. This lighthouse has so much detail on it. Wow, I love this one. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and look at the feet. Wow, this one, I'm just like, I'm speechless. I'm just looking at it and just enjoying it. Oh, look at the bottom. I don't think we've ever looked at the bottom of a Guman figure before. <laughs> All right, so inside we have the card, of course. And we got the Lighthouse one. I'll put the name up in the corner, but I'm pretty sure for this series, it'll just be called Lighthouse. <laughs> Every time I look up the name, it's always something super basic. And you also get this Madology QR code. And I think this is just an authenticator for the figure to make sure that you didn't get a bootleg one. And what a great start to the video. I'm so excited we got this one. I'm just really jazzed we didn't get a repeat. Oh, I absolutely love it. It is so awesome. And the second box, of course, we'll open up our first fairy garden one. I'm so excited for this one. And this one has the pull at the top. And I'm going to imagine it's the same thing. So we just have the plastic covering. So it's not going to be a surprise. As soon as we open it, we will see the figure. Oh, and I forgot to take out that part. So let's go ahead and slide it out and see who we got. Oh, I can already see which one we got. We got the meteor one. So the meteor one is really cool. I've actually seen someone unbox this before. So it comes with all of these meteors that you can put in the basket on the top of the head. So let's take out the figure. Wow. <laughs> Definitely not my colorway, but it's such a cute figure anyways. I really like how this looks furry. And like Guman is sitting on top of like a furry beast with horns. That's really interesting. And we have all of the cute little meteors. Let's get these out. So we have four different ones. There's a big one and a small one in the two different colors. So we have a red and we have a kind of gold bronzy meteor. And these just go in the hat. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's such a fun element for the figure. 
I really like that. I like the fact that you can take them in and out, or you could put something else in the hat if you really wanted to. I really like this one. Even though it's not the colors that I like, it's still really nice. And the Gumon figures have such lovely earth tones to them. They're just really nice overall. And the cards are different for the Fairy Tales series. So here we go. We have Meteor's Nest. <laughs> and I love the card. It's so nice. And then the QR one is just going to be this orange and black color. So what do you guys think of Meteor's Nest? It's really cool. I really like it. It's a really nice figure. All right, and I think we're going to open up the second Fairy Garden one because I'm just so interested now to see who we got. This one also feels really light, so I don't think we got any of the big ones. This one feels lighter than Meteor's Nest did, so I think maybe we got... One of the ones with the bird nest. These feel like they would be the lightest in the box. So that's going to be my guess. But let's open it up and see who I got. <laughs> These boxes are so big. It's so hard to try and get it <laughs> in the camera shot. All right. So let's open it up. Oh, we got the one I wanted. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Let's open this up. <laughs> oh, these are so loud. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, I love it. The coloring is so good. Wow, look at that kind of mushroom stool. Oh, this one is amazing. Wow, I love Mushroom Cottage. This is such a nice figure. Oh, I love it. I do like the special colorway a bit more than this one in terms of the color, but this one also has fantastic coloring. And the mushroom stool is so perfect. I love the, the blue and the red for the stool. I think it looks so good. And the little horse on top. And I love how there's windows in the mushroom cottage. <laughs> it's so nice. This is just such a cute figure. I'm so glad we got the one on the front. And of course we got the one on the front. I think uh, it's a must that every video I do, I have to get one figure from the cover, no matter what. So here is the card. And it's really nice too. I love how it has the cage in the background. I really like this Fairy Garden series. I'm so glad I finally got to open up these two boxes and I definitely want to open up more on my channel. And let's go ahead and open up our last Gumon one for Dreaming Sea. So officially I have all of the top row and I have all of this row except for the one in the middle on the treasure chest. And I'm missing this colorway and I have this one and I'm missing the super secret. So. I hope we get the super secret, but if we don't get the super secret one or the secret one, I hope we get this one because then I'll have all of the first original six. I'll have a complete collection of that. I'm okay not having this colorway and the super secret I would be so sad not to have, but it's all right, but it would be nice to have the one on the treasure chest. So let's go ahead and open it up. <laughs> And let's see if I got a complete collection. As long as it's not a repeat, <laughs> I guess I'll be okay with the other colorway as well. So let's open it up and have a look. <gasps> oh no, look at that. So we ended up getting a repeat. I can't believe it. I bought these two boxes at the same time, so it's so surprising that we got it. I don't know for the Gumon series if you buy a full case, if you are going to get any duplicates inside of it, or if there is like a probability that you won't get all of them. I'm not 100% sure, but oh, I'm so sad about that. Oh man. So we have two duplicates now in the Dreaming Sea series. So we have two lighthouses and we have two of the shell one with the regular colorway. So that is too bad. I'm not going to take this out of the box. There's no point opening up if it's the same figure as the other one. So I will keep this in the plastic protector. 
So this is the end of the Gumon unboxing. So we got lucky and unlucky at the same time. I'm so happy we got the lighthouse one. I was really hoping we would get it in today's video, but sadly we got two of them, so that's a disappointment. And then we ended up getting the one on the front that I really wanted with the horse on top of the mushroom. Absolutely love it. And then we got the meteor one, which I don't have, so I'm still happy to get it. But it wasn't one of my favorites, but I really do like the top of it with all of the meteors there. I think that's a really nice detail. And out of the two different series, which one do you like more, Dreaming Sea or Fairy Garden? I don't have very many boxes of the Fairy Garden one because I didn't like that series as much as the Dreaming Sea. So I decided to only pick up a few of them. I might buy a bit more for that. I think for the Dreaming Sea though, I've opened up quite a few boxes now. I don't think I'll buy any more even though I don't have a complete collection. I'm really sad I didn't just pick up the full case. I bought these at the beginning of the year when I was just getting into blind boxes and opening them up and it seemed quite expensive to pick up a full case and after I picked up the original four I fell in love with it and I knew I wanted to get them all and then I was like well if I get a full case I'm probably gonna get some repeats. I did get one that was a special colorway so I thought if I picked up a whole box I might only get like one or two repeats. I didn't think I would get all of them repeated but it still scared me so I went ahead and just picked up extra boxes and hoped that I wouldn't get a repeat and I kind of wish on that second order I had picked up the full case. It would have been even better if the original order I had just picked up a full case. That would have been a really fun video but I'm starting to learn if you really love a series you just have to pick up that full case and if you don't have the money for it then you save up the money and you buy it at a later time. Most of the blind boxes are available for quite a few months so if you can't afford that full case but you really want all of the figures I would say it's better to wait and get the full case and not just buy a box here or there because then you get a lot of repeats and unless you have someone you can trade with or you have something set up where you can sell them easily, it can get a bit frustrating to get a bunch of repeats that you don't know what to do with. But that's just my advice as someone who's just getting into it. Definitely I know now, if I really want a series and I want all of them, I really should pick up that full case and not just buy boxes here or there. I'm trying to get better at that. Sometimes when it comes to figurines, you get worried that, you know, they're going to sell out and you won't be able to pick them up. And I definitely say it's better to take a step back and really just have a look at the series and decide right away whether that full case is something you want and you want to save up for or whether you wouldn't mind just getting a few boxes here or there and if you mind getting repeats at all. But that was a little collector rant I guess. <laughs> How did you guys like this video and these figures? I love Gumon. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I do know for the new Gumon series that's coming out I am just waiting to get a full case of it so I can do a full Gumon full case unboxing. I'm so excited for it. That series looks amazing. Gumon is definitely one of my favorite characters. I love all of this series and I find them just really unique and the quality on them is impeccable. Like they are just so well done so I really enjoy them and I think they're really special and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for another unboxing video. I hope you guys all have a good week and I will catch you on the next unboxing.